Hey guys, Randy Sullivan here, Florida Baseball Ranch. Want to talk to you a little bit about spin rate. Been hearing a lot about it. I know you guys have too. And here's what we know about spin rate right now. First of all, the first thing that you need to know is we don't know how to teach it. We don't know how to make your spin rate on your fastball uh, more or less. Uh, a lot of guys, a lot of major league teams have put a lot of money into trying to figure that out. They haven't yet identified the variables that contribute to increased or decreased spin rate. So what do we mean by spin rate? First of all, if the ball is spinning backwards like this at a high rate, uh, the ball's going to tend to have carry on it. It's not going to sink as much. If it spins at a slower rate, then it would tend to sink more, okay? So guys with high spin rate tend to have fastballs that sort of ride and don't drop, and guys with, with slow, lower spin rates tend to sink. Now, you want to be out an outlier if you can, if, you, if you're blessed enough to be an outlier. The average major league spin rate on a, on a fastball is about 92 miles an hour, and it is about 2,200 revolutions per minute. Now, if you're above that spin rate, then the ball's not going to sink as much as hitters are accustomed to, and they'll tend to swing right under it. If you have a lower spin rate, uh, it'll sink more than they're accustomed to, and they'll tend to swing over it, and that sort of allows you to identify what kind of pitcher you are. If you're a high spin rate guy, you need to be throwing fastballs up in the zone. Hitters want you to get that ball down. If you're a low spin rate guy, you probably need to keep the ball down and not get it up. Okay, So not everybody should keep the ball down. That's a pretty common myth. So that's the first thing about spin rate. Um, we can use uh, our, this is by the way, this is our Rap Soto. This is our uh, device that we use to uh, identify spin rate. And you can use it to help improve the tightness of your breaking ball because it does show us the tilt axis. And uh, it, we can use it to improve the shape of your breaking ball. And we have been able to have some success just using it as biofeedback uh, to try to teach our guys how to spin their breaking balls a little better and improve the shape of that. But let's just talk about what we identify here. We had one of our pitchers, one of our guys, just throw a get me over fastball. He wanted me to point out that this isn't his best fastball. He was just kind of getting ready as a velo push day tomorrow. So this is an 84 mile an hour fastball and his spin rate is 1966, which would put him probably, if we increase that to 92, uh, about just a little bit on the high end of a spin rate um, for a major league fastball if that was a 92 mile an hour fastball, which his will probably be tomorrow, okay? Um, now that fastball on the high end of the spin rate uh, spectrum is probably gonna tend to not sink as much. Um, if you had a lower spin rate here, it'd probably sink more. Now, uh, you can also see that the Rapsodo tells us the tilt axis, and it also gives us a couple of other items. Uh, first of all, it tells us the horizontal break. This pitch had a 6.5 inch uh, horizontal run, so it ran toward the right-handed hitter. You can see the shape of it right there. And it had a depth, it sunk about 17.1, uh, it dropped about 17.1 inches from the release point. And uh, you can see here that this red line indicates where the pitch went, the dotted line is where the pitch would have gone if it didn't have any movement. We also have the capability of looking at it from the top and from the side. We can look at two seamers, cutters, curveballs, sliders, anything like that. But here's a, an interesting part here, this thing here called true spin. Balls can spin this way, which gives them run, they can spin this way, which makes them sink. They can spin sideways like this, which gives them horizontal break, or they can spin like this. We call that gyro spin. Gyro spin is the kind of spin that's sort of useless. It really doesn't help the ball move at all. And so what, what Rapsodo does is take your actual spin rate, subtract out your gyro spin rate, and give us what we call true spin. That's the amount of spin that is actually affecting the movement. And once you come here, if you come here for our summer training program, this is one of our first day assessments, is to help you identify what your spin rate is on all your pitches. So that way we can help you sort of craft an approach that you might use most effectively to attack hitters. And um, if you have a uh, low spin rate, we'll, we'll be keeping the ball down. If you have a high spin rate, we'll probably be keeping the ball up. And uh, we'll be helping you identify your spin rate. So uh, remember, our early bird discount for our summer training program ends April 22nd. That's this Saturday, April 22nd at midnight. Deep discounts. You won't be able to save that kind of money uh, anytime in the future. It's really, really significant discounts. So call us. you got to call um, Amy. Her number is 813-503-5145. She'll be manning the cell phone, 813-503-5145. She'll be manning the cell phone day and night, pretty much waiting for that uh, that that deadline to expire, taking calls at the last minute to get you signed up for our summer training program. If you want to learn more about the summer training program, go to floridabaseballranch.com slash summer and come down here and let us help you identify your spin rate and help you improve the tightness and the sharpness of your secondary pitches and get you back next fall uh, throwing lasers that you understand how to attack hitters with and tightening up your breaking pitches to make them more devastating toward the hitters. We appreciate your time. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.